Hi guys, welcome to step two of the string and tin foil relief front cover. What we're going to be using today is PVA glue, tin foil, and tissue paper or toilet roll. Now, as a quick recipe, in case you don't have access to that liquid PVA glue, you can concoct your own mixture that's that has very similar qualities to PVA by mixing flour with a little bit of water. Now I'm just putting little drops in at a time, mixing until I get a glue-like consistency and then a few drops of malt vinegar. As I have the PVA available, I'm going to be using that and just putting a little drop of water in there just to make it more liquid based and just to make it slightly thinner and more runny. With my paintbrush I'm going over all of the string and the cardboard, getting into all those nooks and crannies making sure that the glue covers every part of that surface. Now I'm going to be working on that front cover only, so I'm going to be working to make sure that every area of that surface is covered in glue, in a layer of glue, right the way up until the edge. And I'm also going over the edges as well. And you can see this cardboard is actually very absorbent and is absorbing the glue quite quickly. Now what I'm taking now is an element of tin foil, making sure that I've got the right size and I've scrunched it to create a lovely texture and then placing it over the top of my string relief and using the tissue paper to carefully push the tin foil into all the nooks and crannies around the glue. Now as the cardboard, this particular cardboard is very absorbent so I'm having to go back in with another layer of glue and giving that another go now. So I'm wrapping it around the edges and using that tissue paper to push the tin foil in and around the string making it connect with that glue layer. Now you can see here my main focus is to really, really push that tin foil around. The more I use those circular mo motions and the more that I take the time to push in the tin foil into all of those smaller areas around the edge of the string, the more prominent the string will be. So now I'm just trimming the tin foil just to make that neater edge, just making sure that the glue, there's sufficient amount of glue in order to stick those edges down. And again, just pushing that tin foil in. This is a process over time. You may need to keep doing that and keep going back to push that tin foil in as it may raise as it starts to dry. Just to allow these edges to stand out for you today even more, I'm just taking a little bit of black acrylic paint on a piece of tissue and gliding it across those lines just to make them more prominent. Now you can also do this with shoe polish um, and that has a very, very similar effect and dries in a very similar way. Now if you are lucky enough to have other materials available, you can use things like acrylic paint and watercolours onto your design as well. Obviously watercolour being water-based, they're slightly weaker and they're slightly more delicate and transparent um, and you'll be able to see the way they dry and apply to the tin foil here in front of you. If you have acrylic paint, acrylic paints are obviously plastic based and they can dry a lot brighter and a lot more fuller than the watercolours but for now we're just going to do a little experiment with the watercolour. If you prefer a brighter and bolder outcome then I would suggest a white acrylic layer to that tin foil, allow that to dry and then apply your bright bold acrylic colour above. <laughs> 